Hello, my name is Kim, professor of Kalasarangan University, India. Uh, today's topic is about analog to digital convert and uh, 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 digital to analog convert. Uh, today, I'm going to give you uh, some lecture about uh, sampling theory and if we do not know the FMX, how to decide the FX. Okay. Then first, some terminology, uh, sampling and uh, quantization. Okay. Uh, the signal is represented in this graph, uh, continuous, continuous time and continuous amplitude. Uh, we call this continuous time signal X of T, otherwise you can say analog signals. Uh, for example, like this. This signal, this is a uh, uh, time uh, domain C, and uh, this continuous. It is also amplitude also continuous. We call this a continuous time signal, although you can say analog signal. Uh, next, first we uh, converting continuous time to discrete time here by and we call process is sampling. Sampling. Uh, the for example, uh, we call this uh, discrete time signal X of N, for example, this kind. From this, you change it, continue time to discrete time. In this case, the sampling period equal 0.25 second. This sampling period equals sorry, TS. Okay, we call this a sampling uh, time signal. And then uh, we can convert continuous amplitude to discrete amplitude. We can convert, we call this quantization, quantization, uh, quantization in amplitude. Uh, we call this uh, digital signal, digital signal X of N. Of course, this digital signal can be used in computer. For example, like this. This is also discrete. This also discrete. Okay. Okay. Then, what is the condition of the AD conversion? AD conversion. That means here, uh, original signal X of T. This is continuous time signal, and uh, through the AD convert, we can get X of N disk time signal. And uh, this uh, disk time signal comes to the DA convert, and at the final, you can get X of T, this continuous time signal also. The continuous time signal, the continuous time time signal, uh, should be equal. Should be equal. Should be equal. Theoretically, okay, theoretically uh, through even though uh, the signal passed uh, this uh, convert, but it should be same theoretically. Not uh, practical, theoretically, uh, still the same. But in in practical case, in practical case, in practical case, it's not equals almost the same X of S T. Okay. Also, uh, this converts at AD convert uh, can contain uh, contains a sampling function, quantization function, and the encoding functions. Today, uh, mainly I can I would like to explain to you the sampling concept. Sampling means continue time to uh, discrete time. Like this. Okay. Then for this sampling, sampling. Uh, sampling means, as you know, the sampling means uh, continuous time x of t uh, to x of n. For this, we need uh, sampling frequencies. Okay. Then, uh, how frequently do we have to sample the continuous uh, signal? How frequently? Okay. This is a, a basic concept, a key point. Okay. For example, uh, this kind of uh, there is this kind of signals here. Uh, this is original signal is blue, and the red is a disk time signal. Now we are sampled uh, by, this signal is sampled by a 0.5 second. In this case, 0.25 second. In this case, 0.125 second. 
5 second. We call this uh, sampling period. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, of course, you can guess uh, we have many signals of this uh, tick time signal cycle. We can it's easily to recover the uh, blue signal. That's all mean. That means that x of n convert to x of t. If we have more signals, it's easily to recover the x of t original signal. That means the more samples, the better to recover the x of t with uh, x of n. Okay. Then we need many samples. Uh, but I think uh, the, uh, let's uh, see the amount of information. This is much more like this. For example, if we can recover, we can recover the original signal with uh, this uh, a little bit smaller number of samples. We can, of course, we can see x over t is the best of them. Otherwise, the smaller number, we take a smaller number, this one from this, if we can recover the x over t, this is the best one. Therefore, this, how, how to decide how to decide the sampling periods. For example, 0.5 is okay, 0.25 is okay, 0.25 is okay, or more the short, short interval is okay. I'm not sure. Anyway, how to decide sampling period. Okay, this is the uh, main questions. This is important thing. Okay. Uh, okay, I will give you some one quiz. Who is this man? Uh, 100 years before, one man was born in Michigan in the U.S. He achieved many theorems in the communication field as well as uh, electrical and uh, mathematics. Especially, he set the bridge which connect analog to digital. Who is this man? Okay. He's very famous for some uh, Shannon. Shannon, okay, all right. Let's on top the Shannon. Uh, he's uh, uh, <coughs> uh, the founder of some information theory. Information theory. Theory. Okay. Shannon, a very important person in TSP field. Okay, uh, by uh, his theory, uh, we call this a uh, sampling theory. Sampling theory means uh, uh, how to convert continuous time signal to discrete time signal x of n. For this, we need uh, sampling uh, frequency. How to decide the sampling frequency? Okay. Uh, of course, before Shannon, before Shannon, uh, 1928, Nyquist, he introduced already, and uh, 1949, uh, by Shannon, the theorem is widely spread. Okay. Then, what is the sampling th theorem? That means, sample frequency for converting uh, discrete, uh, continuous to discrete. Okay. This is, uh, sample frequency is greater than two times of f max. f max means maximum frequency in signals. Especially equal to two, two times of the XM, we call this Nyquist uh, frequency. Okay, uh, that is very important concept in uh, sampling theorem. Okay, this one. One more time, sampling frequency is greater than two times of f max, okay. Sometimes they are using equal, but uh, this is not includes a place but uh, that just greater than, not equal, okay? Okay, one example. Now, x of t is uh, uh, here, is given. Uh, from this, uh, what is the fs? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, then from this, cosine 100 pi t. This means, as you know, this means 2 pi ft. Therefore, this is a pre call of 50 hertz. Okay. And from this, we can know a pre call uh, 100 hertz. And from this, what you can know is a pre call 200 hertz. 
Therefore, the maximum frequency of this signal is this is F max. F max. Therefore, F s is greater than 2 times a power F max means uh, 400. Okay. And we can choose the sample frequency to be more, more than 400 hertz. We can uh, uh, convert x over t to x over n, and also from this we can recover the x over t if we use uh, this kind of sampling frequencies. Okay. Then, uh, if we do not know, we do not know f max how to decide. Just before, if we know this, fs is greater than 2 times of f max. But now, this we do not know. Then uh, this is we cannot do. Then what shall we do? Okay. In general, all signals, the frequency range of all signals is 0 to infinite, theoretically. Theoretically, theoretically, uh, uh, 0 to infinite frequencies. Then, of course, f max equal infinite frequency. Then also, sampling frequency also should be in infinite. Then, this means, is it possible? No, that is uh, impossible. Impossible, okay. Then, what we have to do is, we have to make f max uh, to be finite, finite. Not infinite, not infinite, finite. Okay. Then how to make f max finite, finite? Okay. Theoretically, f max equal infinite. How to make uh, this? For this, uh, okay. First, uh, we can assume. We can assume f max up here. Then how to assume? It depends on your choice. Your choice. That means, what is the maximum frequency you desire? If you desire 100, then you can take 100. If you, uh, you the, the frequency you desire is uh, 1 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, then uh, you can get the maximum of 1 kilohertz. Like this. Then, is it okay that you will assume? No. We need to be make, to make FMAX to finite. How to do that? That means here. For example, frequency. Okay, now frequency is here. Zero to infinite, okay? Then, how to make this? Then it's very simple. Now, you, can, you apply just this kind of a low pass filter. Low pass filter. You apply this filter to the signal. And then, this is the apple cutoff frequency. Beyond the cutoff frequency, gain is all zero. This is zero, gain equals zero, this is one. Then you can get output is like this. This is f max, because this is all zero. Then you can know the f max. From this, you can decide fs. Okay, very simple. One more time. For this, you have to use low pass filter. And this concept is very, very important. But in most of cases, we do not know f max. We do not know this, we do not know the end, how to do that. Then we have to do like this. Assume, and uh, we need to apply low pass filter to signals with uh, uh, cutoff frequency to be equal to f max. Okay. Now we have one question. One question. Uh, this kind of low pass filter is uh, analog or digital? Yes, this is analog. Because uh, low pass filter is placed uh, before AD conversion. Therefore, this is analog, not digital filters. Therefore, we need uh, from this uh, uh, x over continuous time signal x over t to x over n, we need AD converter. For using this, because there's a, we do not know f max, we do not know. We do not, uh, do not know, therefore, uh, we use the low pass filter like this. Okay, this is very important concept. Okay, okay uh, this is one of the, the quiz. Is there, please solve this problem. Very simple one. 
Now this is the, uh, the MATLAB source program for your reference. Uh, from this, what you can do is you can make the, this, this kind of uh, the input signal, continuous time signal uh, by using the uh, two kind of frequency. If you, you enter, then you can make any arbitrary, arbitrary uh, the signals. And also, uh, we can make this kind of uh, discrete time signal also N uh, by the uh, FPS. FPS uh, you uh, entered. Then you can make this one. Please practice how to make uh, X over N, X of T, and X over N. Thank you so much for your watching. Uh, today, I explained to you a first class of AD conversion. Uh, sampling theory, sampling theory, sampling theory, sampling theory. Uh, sampling frequency is greater than two times over F max. Okay, then we do not know F max. We need to low pass filter, low pass filter. Yeah, Hans Evo, low pass filter said. Okay, be before about this, uh, let me explain later in the in my lecture. Actually, also, uh, for this kind of analysis of sampling effect in frequency domain also is very important. But uh, now, let the, this uh, analysis of uh, this theory will be later in my lecture after uh, explaining my lecture explaining about the frequency concept. Now, that, that I didn't uh, explain the frequency domain. Therefore, after frequency domain, and I will explain this kind of sampling process one more time. The next topic is quantization uh, in the process of X of T to X of N. Please look forward to next lecture. Thank you so much again.